Hello everyone, this is a practice problem we'll go through with simple interest and the question is Michael has invested $3,000 in a GIC at a simple interest rate of 6% semi-annually so interest is paid out every half year how much will it be worth after 3.25 years so the question here is asking how much it'll be worth so that's a, a future worth problem so we need to use the uh, formula for that and so that is this a equals p plus prt and of course we'll define our terms there let a equal the future value and I think it's good to put in units so in dollars and p is the principal amount invested in dollars and R is equal to the interest rate and T is equal to time in years so we know what the question is asking for we have a formula so now we can put in numbers so the future value is equal to P plus P and P is the principal amount invested which is three thousand dollars so three thousand plus three thousand times R T and R is six percent which we write as a decimal point zero six and then T is the time that it was in there and it was in there for 3.25 years. Now, that doesn't mean we've um, gained interest over the full 3.25 years because we only get interest after every half year. So if this was 3.5, then we'd get a full set of interest here, but um, because it's paid out every half year, we only get it after the three. We took it out a little bit early to get full interest there. So we multiply that by 3, not by 3.25. Uh, and now we can solve this. So um, I'm just going to pull up a calculator, and we can put this in. So 3,000 plus 3, oops, uh, 3,000 times point zero six times three and so our future value there is three thousand five hundred and forty so three thousand five hundred and forty dollars so um, really the the key thing is if we're asking for future value make sure you use this formula um, and if the interest rate is semi-annual then we can only go um, with time units of you know whole numbers like three or half numbers like 3.5 okay and because this is 3.25 we can only uh, put in a value of three once we do that we can calculate it and we get three thousand five hundred forty dollars that's a good example question you can use hopefully to do your homework okay